I saw him, I touched him, I smell it. I was so close to him and I wondered how it could escape from me. But at the same time, I need to think about the next step. Whatever the next step, there'll be no search until next autumn. It will take time and luck to outmaneuver the Colossus of the Tundra. St. Petersburg, Russia, the mecca for mammoth hunters. Professor Nikolai Vereshagin is a renowned paleontologist and the man who may know more than anyone else about the life of the woolly mammoth. The Russian is famous for his 1977 excavation of a frozen baby mammoth named Dima. Bulldozed out of a Siberian riverbed, the animal was almost entirely preserved with all his internal organs, an extraordinary find. Now, in his early 90s, the oldest living mammoth hunter shares some basics with Bernard. Tusks of dominant males could be five meters long. The largest animals could weigh 10 tons, double the size of an elephant, 130 times the weight of an average man. Both Neanderthal and modern man share a history with the mammoth. In those days, men liked to hunt mammoth, which was plentiful on the tundra. Its enormous weight produced three tons of excellent meat all at once. It could feed a lot of people for a long time, and so was most worthwhile for the hunter of that period. The St. Petersburg Museum houses some of the world's most impressive woolly mammoth remains. With no natural predators other than man, they thrived across the northern hemisphere for more than 100,000 years. Why the mammoth died out while elephants survived is a perplexing mystery. After years on their trail, Professor Vera Shagin has drawn his own conclusions about the mammoth's demise. I support the climatic theory. At the end of the Ice Age, there were major successive climatic shifts, periods of cold followed by warming. And that played a fatal role in the disappearance of the mammoth. The situation, of course, was worsened by the impact of human hunters. As their numbers dwindled, the extension was further hastened by the influence of the animal psyche. I even think they were depressed. Many died off in great numbers during their migration, most of them by drowning. During the Ice Age, sea levels dropped and the tips of Siberia and Alaska were linked by a land bridge. Mammoths made their way to North America across what's now the Bering Strait. As soon as they reached the new continent, the Colombians migrated south, some as far as Florida and Mexico. In these less extreme climates, they became the largest mammoths that ever lived. The most complete record of their history lies at the bottom of a sinkhole in Hot Springs, South Dakota. A geologist tapped for the next Siberian expedition, Larry Agenbrod oversees this excavation in progress and speculates why most of his finds are male. A mammoth society, much like an elephant society, the males, when they become mature sexually, they are expelled from the family unit and uh, they don't have much luck in the dating game until they're about 35 years of age. So there's roughly 20 to 25 years of hormone flow and nothing to do with it and no uh, guidance 
and they get into really dumb situations, a little bit like our own species. Imagine yourself as a young male mammoth, oh, maybe uh, 16 to 18 years old, and it has just snowed, and you've got a choice. You can take your tusks and sweep off the snow for last year's dead grass, or if you look down in this sinkhole with a thermal pond, you're going to have green vegetation all around the edge of this pond. I don't think it takes too much of a stretch of imagination to realize they're going to go for the greens. If they did, this is a one-way trip. They either starve to death after eating everything around the pond edge, or they uh, swim till they're exhausted and drown. The most physically imposing mammoths, the Colombians, stood twice the height of a man and were double the weight of an elephant. Unlike its woolly cousin, the Colombian roamed exclusively through North America and met our early ancestors. Basically, once they're grown, once they're mature, there are no enemies for mammoths except humans. As young, they're uh, subject to big predators, big carnivores. The big cats, the big bears, would have been the only natural enemies they had. Proof of early man's encounters with the mammoth is evident in the art of cave dwellers across Europe and North America. build their huts and feed their kin. Men killed mammoths in vast numbers. The mammoths shared the food-rich grasslands with animals that survived the Ice Age. Musk oxen, reindeer, horses, and bison. How could he vanish amidst such abundance? Some say it was man who did the mammoth in. Others say he perished from disease, climate-related food shortages, or natural catastrophe. With so few footsteps to follow, we may never have the answer. Searching for clues to the mammoth's past is what